Nope. What is with me in deep holes? Don't bully the sea moth. Come on, man. You're better than that. What's up everyone? This is me, Sean, and today I am here with some Subnautica for your faces. Once again, we are back in this nice, lovely water world with our creepy noises and our friend over here who is, I think, stuck under... No, he's not stuck under there. Um, where'd he go? Is he gone forever? I don't know, but um, yeah, as you can see... Since the last episode, I have added on to my base uh, quite a bit. And yeah, um, half of this is not really useful at all. But it's just... Oh, goodness, he's right above me. Wait, yeah, look at him. What the heck? Okay, well, uh, he's going to be coming for me, and uh, I don't want him to get me. So I'm going to come in here, and we will take the tour real quick. So, um, really all I've done is I've added... Uh, this big tank, like I said, I wanted to add, uh, but for some reason, there, there's no hatch on it. Like, you know, it told me, it told me that it would have a hatch on it, and it doesn't have a hatch. How rude of the game, alright? And this was originally going to be where the ladder was, and that's why it's over here. Um, but yeah, so we just got this ladder, and, uh, I think that's pretty much it, other than this area over here, which has the, um... The, 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 the extra power on top. Oh, hello, man. He's still trying to get me. You can't get me, buddy. <laughs> noob. You noob. All right. Uh, but, yeah, this is just a room where I can go and look out on the marine life um, in the water. So, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for the base. Uh, I'm going to get to the sea moth, and then I'll uh, tell you what I was planning on doing for this episode. But I'll tell you what I was not planning. Um, I was not planning that lag spike. That was awful. Alright? I don't know why coming over here makes it a lot l more laggy. But, uh... It's just... It's getting real laggy for some Welcome reason. Alright, guys. Well, let's turn that off. And, uh, yeah. So, today... What I really want to do is, um... I want to... Just go straight out. I know last episode I kind of did this. Um, but I feel like... I did not do it very well at all uh, because I think I didn't really go out that far honestly I just went like a little bit further than I already have been so it really wasn't anything special it was just like yeah he went that way um, but yeah I'm going to go further out this direction I'm going to see if there's anything um, in the depths uh, if I can say that right and yeah, I'm also going to be looking for these guys right here, uh, because I need I need certain things like this. Uh, this is a propulsion cannon fragment, uh, which is something I would like, but I don't need. Uh, but yeah, something I would, or something I need right now, is I need a way to upgrade the sea moth. Now, if you guys don't know how to, if you guys don't know how to upgrade the sea moth, basically how you upgrade the sea moth. Uh, is you have to get a certain um what is it called you have to get a certain a certain room in your in your place you know um i totally lost my train of thought i'm sorry if um that seemed like just a lot of obnoxious rambling but i really just lost my train of thought so yep it has it has derailed a uh, big time so Oh my gosh, is that a drop-off, or is that just a really deep hole? I don't know, man. Okay, so, let's see. That, oh man, we're far out. Alright. So, straight down we go. And I'm going to steer away from the hole over here. Holy. Oh, goodness. Is that the blood kelp area? Oh, boys. Holy butts. I just want to take a second to appreciate how creepy this actually is. Um, I do not see any hostile. Okay. I don't actually see any hostiles right now. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, I thought that was like a beacon. No, that's just a fish. What? Hold up. What's this? Oh, I'm risking. I'm risking for a biscuit. Alright, let's see what this is. This is a blood oil. What? Huh. Hold up. And can if I go with five, can I right click and get blood kelp? No, I can't. There's blood oil around this blood kelp. Wow. And yes, I know this is called the blood kelp because I have watched uh, people play Subnautica before. Uh, but I wanted to... Oh, crush depth. Okay, I have reached the crush depth. And that is exactly why I need the upgrades for the Seamoth. Because I would like to go deeper in the Jelly Shroom Caves. I would also like to go deeper down there. Because that's actually really cool down there. Uh, but I don't have the upgrades on my Seamoth to be able to do that. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. This game is just so majestic and very creepy. Oh, it's getting deeper if I go if I keep going here. Hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. All right. Well, I can't go down there, so I'm turning around. I'm gonna go back for now, and I'm gonna work on getting upgrades for the sea moth uh, off camera because I haven't really seen any fragments of a moon pool or anything like that. I'm go I'm just gonna look up how to get the moon pool. Um. And the bench because I don't know if they're just fragments that lay around um, or anything like that so holy big ship chunks Ooh. okay three battery charger yes this is exactly what I need right now okay yes okay that's the thing that goes in your uh, modification station that is what I what the fudge cakes ow Oh my... You guys suck. Did I kill? Alright. I'm going back in, go back in. Three. Three? Okay, modification station. There we go. Um, anything else? So that modification station uh, goes in the moon pool. Um, which then upgrades the Seamoth. And is this going to be the last one or do I need a third? I need a third. Well, I don't see any more around here, so I'm going to get back in my Seamoth. Okay, no thanks. Okay. Um, well... I'm not going to go grab those fragments because of that guy. And I also don't have a propulsion cannon yet. And uh, that's what a propulsion cannon is, by the way. It's a way to, to uh, defend yourself in this game. So I'm going to need that and... Oh my... What is with me in deep holes? I really like looking through the deep holes. Okay, well... I'm pretty sure that just goes down to the uh, other areas of the game I've already seen, so... Yeah. If there's nothing new to be seen, I don't want to see it. So... Yeah, alright, so we're gonna go this way. Yep, alright, we're heading straight where we want to go. And, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to just cut out until... Uh, I'm just gonna cut out um, of the video until I, you know, get back at my base, if that makes sense. Which I'm pretty sure I'm there. Yep, there it is, alright, well... Yeah, but that battery charger, I don't know if I need any more for it. Oh, but the battery charger is going to be so useful, alright? Oh, man, alright. Um, anything else here? Nope. Alright, well, I... Oh, I forgot something else, sorry. Um, I am going to be working on this episode. I'm gonna... Ugh, I can't speak. But this episode, uh, just besides exploring, I'm gonna be working on getting... Uh, certain items of interest but yeah I'm going to be working on the lead uh, radiation suit so hopefully that'll pan out and I left my seamoth over there but it's okay Welcome aboard, uh, so yeah um, so to get the radiation suit you need two fiber mesh and two lead I already have the lead for this but I do not have the fiber mesh and um, yeah basically the fiber mesh is actually really easy to get all it is is um, just creep vine samples and why is that old I don't know I'm gonna throw you in there I'm gonna throw I can't throw anything else into that container oh well uh, but yeah all you need for fiber mesh excuse me is uh, two creep vine samples for each piece so yeah I'm going to go see if I can get some more samples out here uh, and hopefully this guy doesn't catch up to me 
Ow, he definitely caught up to me. Okay. He hurts a little more than those biters do. Ah, alright. So, did I get away? I got away. Alright, well, I'm gonna just take some more samples here. Alright. Hajipada. Haja. Haja fudja. Alright, there. Is there another one I can have? There we go. Thank you. Alright, so I have four creep vine samples and two lead. And that should be enough to go ahead and make myself the suit that I need. Alright. Out, 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 run, go, go, don't let him, don't let him bite me. Oh man, he was super close to getting me. Alright, um, it's okay though, it's okay. So let's go ahead, let's create some fiber mesh. And let's create even more fiber mesh. Is that it? Alright, and now that we have all the fiber mesh that I can, I can, you know, wish for, um, let's go ahead, let's take the lead out, and let's make... The radiation suit. Now, um, I'm not sure if my Seamoth is actually going to survive over by the Aurora, uh, but at least now I will. So, yeah, let's go ahead and let's place... Oh, I already have all the radiation stuff on me, so that's great. Um, hold on. If I press 5... Oh, it looks different. It actually looks different. That's nice. Alright, also, what I really want to do is I want to make some some uh, fins not flippers some fins and um where it, are the fins the fins are there and all i need is two silicon rubber all right so if i open this and i take you and you that should give me uh plenty or just enough yep i will be able to make two silicon rubber and then i can make the fins and now i'll be i will be able to uh, swim faster just in the water. See so, ya. Yeah. Um, uh, why is he attacking my sea moth? Bro! That's not cool! Don't bully the sea moth. Come on, man. You're better than that. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do for the rest of this video. I might... Uh, I might go back over towards the Aurora. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do, actually, because... Last time I tried going to the Aurora, it kinda just, it failed, so... It failed because it didn't have my radiation suit. And now that I have my radiation suit, I will be able to go over there! And that's gonna be fun, right? Right? No. It's... <laughs> oh man, it's going to be very interesting, so hopefully... Oh, hopefully... Things go well... Yay... All right, guys. Well, I wasn't recording for this, but I kind of just found something really strange. Or I didn't find something really strange, but something really strange just happened. Now, this might be in conjunction with the message that I played last uh, video. Uh, but basically, I was just sitting here walking around my base and I got a signal. I got a signal, I also got a nutrient block and some water, um, but above all else, I got a signal. Now, I don't know why that happened, it just said you picked up a signal, a nutrient block, and a piece of water, and yeah, um, I'm not sure what to think of this, um, oh my gosh, that is crazy, alright, well, that's a... That's a weird way to start off today, but... Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, now that we have totally um, <laughs> just seen something really weird... What the butt? Hold on, what? An eclipse is happening right now, hold on. I'm gonna get into Wilson real quick. And, um, the reason I'm gonna get into Wilson right now is because I actually need, uh, this pretty bad. What? Hold on. Alright, I also wanted to check this. Goal? What did I say? Goal High Diver? What? Does that have something to do with the heat signature? Is that why I got that stuff? That might be why. Um, so yeah. 
Obviously, they're trying to implement some cool stuff into the game, and I actually really approve of that. Um, but, yeah. Um. Oh, come on, man. Stop bumping into things. Stop being so clumsy. Alright, um. I actually, I don't know what to do right now. I'm going to look up a couple things, uh, just to make sure, um, that you can, you know, do them in a, or I can do them in a timely manner now, but... Yeah, I'm going to try to see um, about some other things, and yeah, we'll get to you. I'll uh, I'll get back to you guys um, in a minute. Uh, so yeah, hold on. <laughs> 